So in this video, we're going to find the limit as x approaches zero of x times e to the one over x. Now straight away we can see if we plug in zero to this, we've got a one over zero situation. But first of all, let's just let this equal u of x and then plug in zero and see what we're dealing with. So u of x equals x e to the one over x. So u of zero equals zero times e to the one over zero. And that's not very conclusive to find out what we need to do at the moment. We've got a zero to here and then e to the one over zero. Well, one over zero, we know that's going to approach infinity and e to the infinity is also going to give us infinity. So we've got zero times an infinity situation here. So what I'm proposing here is we find the limit from either side. So from zero from the negative side and we'll approach zero from the positive side. So let's try that. So the limit as x approaches zero from the positive side. Now I want to try and avoid this infinity situation here. So I'm going to try and find a way of turning this into Le Hopital's rule. So limit as x approaches zero from the positive side of x e to the one over x. Now to use Le Hopital's rule, we need a fraction and then we can take the derivative of the numerator and denominator. So if I can put this x in the denominator, then we are good to go with Le Hopital's rule. So to do that, if I change this x in my denominator to one over x, that will still have my x in my numerator. So limit as x approaches zero on the positive side, and I've got e to the one over x divided by one over x. Now that's pretty handy. I've got a one over x and one over x situation here. Now, if I plug in zero into that, let's just do that. If x equals zero, then what I've got is an e to the one over zero divided by one over zero, which gives me infinity divided by infinity. So we're good to go with Le Hopital's rule and take the derivative of my numerator and denominator. So let's go with that. Let's go here with this one here. So limit as x approaches zero positive, derivative of e to the one over x. Well, take the derivative of one over x, we get negative one over x squared. So we've got minus one over x squared and then e to the one over x. So that's what we've got for the numerator. And then my denominator, I'm just gonna have the derivative of one over x, which is minus one over x squared. So that's, that's worked out pretty well. So I've got minus one over x squared times e to the one over x, and I've got a minus one over x squared in my denominator. So now these two can cancel out and I can simplify and just leave it as e to the one over x. So now my limit as x approaches zero from the positive side, I've just got e to the one over x. So now that's good to go. We can just take this exponential out of the limit and bring it to the front. So now if I just write it as exp, give it a bracket, and then the limit as x approaches zero from the positive side of one over x. Well, that's just a standard limit. That's gonna give me infinity. So that will just give me infinity. So I've got exponential of infinity. Well, e to the infinity, it's just gonna give me infinity. So that's what we've got from the positive side. Now let's try and find what we've got from the negative side. So now we want the limit as x approaches zero from the negative side of x e to the one over x. Okay, right, let's have a look at what we can do here. Let's just draw a line here. Okay, so now when x gets very small, this will approach zero. And from the negative side, this exponential here I'll have e to the one over some negative value of x. So what I'm proposing here is to split this limit into two limits. So now I've got the limit as x approaches zero from the negative side of x. 
and then multiply it by this limit of just this one here and then multiply it by the limit as x approaches zero from the negative side with e to the one over x. Okay, now as this is going to approach zero, this is just going to be zero. So that's fine. So that just equals zero. Okay, now let's deal with this one. And as we did here, I'm going to bring the exponential out of what we've got here. So now I've got the exponential, put it in a bracket, the limit as x approaches zero from the negative side of one over x. Now, if x is going to be a very small negative number, then this is going to be negative infinity as opposed to this one being positive infinity. So now I'm going to have exponential of negative infinity. Well, that's just going to be zero. So now my two limits together, I've just got zero times zero, which is just zero. So now the answer to this question as I've got limit as x approaching zero from either side, gives me here I've got infinity, here I've got zero. As those two limits are different, then this limit does not exist. But if I take these two limits, this one here, just put that in a box, that one equals infinity. And this limit here from the negative side it approaches zero. Okay, and that concludes our calculations for this limit.